to us at MajorGeeks.com and say we're going to take a look at WinRAR, a shareware, $29 program for managing your files that come in zip, RAR, ISO, 7-zip format. For an example, it's quite a bit to go with the program, but it's actually very simple to use. So for example, we'll start with CUDA text. And what I want to do with CUDA text, I just want to run the thing, it's portable. In other words, GeForce Experience sitting here is an executable. So I just double click it to run it. But on a portable, you can double click it, choose extract, and then decide where you want to go, what kind of options you want to do, whether you just want to extract an update, overwrite without prompt, skip existing files, etc. For the most part, most people won't use anything in the advanced and they won't change much here. You're just looking to extract it. However, because the folder becomes the name of the file, sometimes it's easier, as example, to give it a nice neat name like CUDA text, which is what I'm going to do here. Click OK, give it a few seconds, it's fast, we're done. Pop open my Windows Explorer. I can see there's my CUDA text, but WinRAR will also allow you to do the same thing by, works just like Windows Explorer. So there it is, there's the executable. I'm running it, I'm having a good old time here. Yeah. And my program is running. Now at this point, you've done all this, you've got a lot of other options built in. You can open, for example, this, add it to an archive, move it right to RAR, compress an email if your settings are there. Everything's built into this right click context menu. And of course, it's got this everything here. Most of what you need is in these buttons here. Um, convert it so I can take my zip, which is actually kind of handy. So I can take CUDA text, open it, and convert it to an executable, once again, with most of the default options. And now it's an application, and it will extract quite simply. Pretty neat, right? Okay, so once again, you have virus scanning, you have a wizard for people who aren't familiar with the program to walk them through it step by step. You can add a comment. Did I mention the virus scan? You have to pick your location of your virus scanner. Once you do that, that will work to scan any file. Nice thing to have. And let's say I want to send you a couple of files. So here's a problem. I've got 50 megs. So if I right click on those, I can add them to an archive. I can decide how to add them to the archive. I can decide how to compress it. It doesn't compress a lot in normal, so while slower, you might want to go to good or best, depending on who you're sending it to, how long. Change the name. Once again, a million options we're not going to go through, but believe me, if there was something missing here you knew, you'd figure it out by these tabs. It's pretty simple to use. So we'll do this. Uh, you can also split it up into 5 meg chunks, uh, it's depending on how you do it. You can click OK. And now what you get done, here's your download zip right here, which is what we just created with the two files in it. Pretty much as simple as that. There you go. So that'll cover, as you can see, it does everything you would want. Again, some people might use pzip or another free one because they're free. But if you use a lot of files and you download a lot and you need to play around them, you really can't beat WinRAR. So. The download link, as always, is in the description below, and we thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.